Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Horace and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about that how you can fix an error occurred while launching your game, no licenses in GTA 5 Enhanced Edition. And this video is going to be really short and simple guys, so just watch the video till the end. And if you're in this channel, kindly like this video, share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content. And, and without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, method 1 here is using the Windows Security. So first open your Windows Security and click on the protection history option and under recent items you might find that the Steam API is blocked by your antivirus. Click on the down arrow key to see the file and path that's been blocked and if it says steam-api64.tel is blocked click on the action tab and choose the option allow on device. Once then relaunch your game and check your problem is resolved or not. And the second thing guys is here we need to renaming the steam folder so once this pc go to c drive then navigate to program files 86 press the s key to find the folder named steam before proceeding make sure the steam is not running on your system open task manager press the s key and check if steam is running and if it is right click on it and choose the end task at my end steam is already closed after closing steam right click on the steam folder and choose the rename option give it any name for example steam.old click continue to provide admin rights once the folder is renamed close it and now launch the rockstar game launcher and try launching gta 5 enhanced edition you should no longer get the error and you will able to hit the play button directly and once the game is launched go back to the folder where you named renamed steam folder and rename it back to steam and if this method doesn't work guys then move to the next step and the next step is we need to using an emulator so open your browser and download two files the first one is the goldenberg emulator click on the latest release scroll down and download win release dot seven zip file and save it to your system once download it open the zip file go to releases go to regular and x64 and right click on the steam api 64 file copy this file and paste it into your game directory and uh, if you're playing the game via Steam, the folder may be available in the bin folder. For example, in my case, all games are installed in the F drive. Under games, open any game folder, go to binaries, go to Win64 and paste the Steam API file there. And after pasting the file, open your browser again and download the second file, Steam Lights. Click on the latest release, scroll down and download the zip file. Once downloaded, right click on the Steam file and choose Extract All. After extraction, right click on the Steam as file and choose that one has administrator. And once it starts, click on the three dots icon to browse the exe file of GTA 5. In my case, the game is in F drive. And uh, once unpacked, a new .exe file named GTA 5 unpacked will be generated in the installation directory. Now, right click on the original GTA 5 exe file and uh, cut it and paste it somewhere else as an backup. Rename the newly created GTA 5 unpacked file to GTA 5. .exe. Once then close everything and launch your game and this should completely resolve your issue. And that's it guys. I hope your problem is solved now. And if you found this video helpful, kindly like this video, share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content. And we will meet in the next one. Until then, peace out.